Right everyone, we've clapped here. I've got a little review for you. I've got a a watch from Gearbest recently. And this is the EMAC Survival Watch, which is like a 6 in 1 watch. Quite cheap, £5.13p. If you do want this, you may have to look through their website a bit because uh this one's actually been discontinued. But if you go onto the site and click on a couple of different warehouse options. You can find it but i'll try and do that already with the link so if you are interested it should take you to one straight away like i said it's a six in one survival tool which is the watch is one paracord two compass three fire steel four thermometer five and whistle six that is six features. No, just go over the watch. It's just a just a standard watch. These other little faces I don't actually do anything, and neither do these buttons. So it just tells the time, and that's it. The bezel doesn't move or anything like that. But it's quite a nice little watch. Looks good. Certainly looks good when you wear it. You know. I won't actually put it on in a minute, it's easier just to do it like this, but that's how it would look when it was on. So the straps are paracord and you can get those in different colours and it is, you get three metres of paracord, so it must be about 1.5 on each side. There's the bottom of the uh, watch which I just assume is some kind of stainless steel, I've got the piece of protective plastic on it at the minute. Uh, and under there is the battery which is a 377S battery I'm not sure what size that is, I just assume that's probably just a standard uh, watch battery so I've gone to the buckle now so that is how you connect it onto you and on this buckle is the compass, the whistle the flint striker and the actual striker there's the whistle there, I'll just test that quickly, I won't blow it too hard I'll just give you a bit of an idea. That was just a very gentle blow on that, so it'd be be more powerful than that. There's the compass, and that is working. I know for a fact that's definitely north the way that's facing because I've checked it with a different compass. Let's just twist it around a bit and watch it go back to the right position. Yeah, it's gone back to exactly where it was. So that definitely works. Flint striker is there, which I've been using, and this is the striker for it. This is the only fault I've got with this, really, is... I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to take that out, but I do, just because it's easier. You slide it out, and then you can strike the rod. But I've noticed it's quite difficult to um, get it to work. You can see I was getting it to work there. But if you use something else... See, that does a good, that's even burnt my uh, <laughs> tablecloth there. But yeah, with the right kind of thing, it will work good. It really does. But um, it's just that, I don't know, I don't know if it needs to be roughened up on the edge or something. You know, it may be too smooth. I'm not really sure. It isn't smooth, if you look, it is actually got a sort of rough edge on it, but it doesn't seem to be rough enough. But that flint uh, ferrocene rod does work good when you can strike it. So there is the buckle. It's a hard plastic buckle. I'm not sure exactly what the plastic is, but it seems like a good, decent, sturdy buckle. Then you've got a thermometer. Not sure how much use a thermometer would be in a survival situation or even camping and that, but could be handy. Not sure what the temperature is at the minute, so I can't tell you whether that's right or wrong. Different, like I said about the paracord, you can get different types of paracord as well, different colours, not types, sorry, colours. So this is the red and black, but you can get loads of different colours. It's just worth checking that, you know. So the size of the watch is it's about 42 mil across and about seven or eight mil thick 
about you know about a standard sort of sports watch type size so yeah there it is you know uh i got this and i thought it'd be handy for going down the woods camping and that it's always nice to know what the time is you know phone might run out of battery or something oh the weight is 89 grams as far as i'm aware which i suppose it's It'd be slightly heavier than your average watch, just because of the extra features. But it's not heavy, you know. To do the adjustment on the time, you just pull that out and turn it like you would with any other watch. So if you've ever had a watch, you'll know how to do it. Yeah, I quite like it. The only fault I'd say is that striker is hard to strike the ferrocium rod, but I'd assume you'd probably have something else on you anyway. But you did see it did strike, it just doesn't strike as good as something else, you know. Those little scissors must just have a nice little edge on them. It's perfect for doing it. So yeah, that is the Emacs Survival Watch 6-in-1 watch. There'll be links in the more info section for this. If when you go there it's not this exact model, it's, the, it's just ones with different power cord and from a different warehouse, so the price may vary. This one was £5.13p, but the price may go up as high as £9.20, which I don't think that's too bad, really. One other thing is, this is classed as not waterproof. Uh, it says not water resistant, even, so I don't know about that. Uh, but, you know, if you're wearing it and you've got your jacket sleeve over it, I'm assuming that would be fine. You know, how wet is it going to get? Cheap enough that, you know, I don't really think it would matter that much anyway. Yeah, there it is. So there'll be links below in the more info section to whatever ones I could find. Because this one may be discontinued. This colour, that's all it is. There'll be a coupon code and all that. And there'll be some, uh, look in the flash sales as well. Because sometimes if you look in the flash sales, you may find the product that I'm reviewing. You know, that you've just watched. And it being cheaper. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful, I hope you found something you like. And if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can by buying stuff through my links. And then I'll get like a 7 or 10% of what you spend, at no cost to you, you know, and it helps me out. So, alright, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.